for tuning in to Brought House Sports. I am your host, Emily Cheddar Dog Dillion. What a game! This was a crucial one for the Cleveland Browns. It starts off with a Deshaun Watson pass turning into a pick six by Kyle Hamilton. Sometime later, Ravens have the ball at first and ten. Lamar Jackson passes to Mark Andrews for eight yards. Three plays later, now second and five, Jackson passes to Rashawn Bateman for 18 yards. Second and six, Keaton Mitchell runs to his left for 39 yards and a touchdown. Browns have the ball at second and three. Jerome Ford runs to his right for a gain of five yards. Three plays later, now third and ten, Watson passes to Elijah Moore for a gain of 19 yards. This sets up a Dustin Hopkins kick of 36 yards. The kick is good. Ravens get the ball back at their own 30. Jackson passes to Zay Flowers for a gain of 14 yards. In their next play, Jackson passes to Mitchell for a gain of 32 yards. This only resulted in a Justin Tucker field goal of 37 yards. Browns trail the Ravens 3-17. The Browns begin the second quarter with a Watson pass to Amari Cooper for a gain of 17 yards. Four plays later, Jerome Ford runs to his right for 28 yards. This sets up another Justin Hopkins field goal for 28 yards. The kick is good. Ravens get the ball back. Now at their 26, Lamar Jackson passes to Zay Flowers for 16 yards. Flowers makes another reception, this time for 14 yards. Nine plays later, Jackson gets split sacked by both Zadarius Smith and Greg Newsom for a loss of five yards. They are then forced to attempt a field goal of 55 yards, but Tucker is blocked by Jordan Elliott. Browns get the ball back, now second and six, at Ravens 34. Deshaun Watson passes to Cooper for 28 yards. This sets up Hopkins for a simple 23-yard field goal. The kick is good. Ravens get the ball back, but not for long, as Jackson's pass intended to Rashad Bateman gets intercepted by Mike Ford to Cleveland's 47. Browns still trail the Ravens 9-17. In the third quarter, the Ravens begin to show signs of fatigue, and you'll see exactly how. First and 10, at Baltimore's own 38, a Lamar Jackson passes to Zay Flowers for a gain of 18 yards. Three plays later, Jackson passes to Odell Beckham Jr., a former Brown who runs 40 yards and gets a touchdown. Browns get the ball back, and at third and four, Deshaun Watson passes to Amari Cooper for five yards. Five plays later, Watson in shotgun passes to Jordan Aikens for eight yards. Another five plays later, Watson passes to David Njoku for a gain of 11 yards. Now first and ten, Watson in shotgun passes again to Njoku for a gain of nine yards. Second and one, Kareem Hunt runs to his right for a gain of 13 yards. Two plays later, Watson passes to Cooper for a gain of six yards. Kareem Hunt then runs into his right for a Browns touchdown. But it's not done yet as Deshaun Watson runs in a two-point conversion. That Browns drive in the third quarter lasted for 10 minutes and 9 seconds with 17 plays. Browns still trail the Ravens 17 to 24. Ravens get the ball back and at second and eight, Lamar Jackson gets split sacked by Miles Garrett and Jeremiah Awusakoromoa for a loss of nine. Jackson again gets sacked by Garrett, once again for a loss of nine yards. On Jordan Stout's punt, it gets muffed by James Crochet and is recovered by Baltimore. Ravens make their way to second and goal on Cleveland's one. Gus Edwards runs it in for a touchdown. Browns are now second and 15. Deshaun Watson passes to Amari Cooper for a gain of 25 yards. Two plays later, now second and eight, Watson passes to David Njoku for 23 yards. This sets up a Watson pass to Elijah Moore for 10 yards and a touchdown. Ravens get the ball back, but not for long as Jackson's pass bounces off of Oboe Karanfo and into Greg Newsom's hands for a pick six. Browns get the ball back two drives later. Now second and 19, Watson passes to Cooper for 17 yards. Two plays later, Watson scrambles to his left for a gain of 16 yards. Next play, Jerome Ford runs to his right for a gain of 12 yards. This sets up a game-winning field goal of 40 yards by Justin Hopkins. Ravens had no timeouts and the kick is good. Browns beat the Ravens 33-31. Miles Garrett has taken his game to another level this year, and it can be thanked to the teammates he has on the offensive line. Pro Football Reference last week released their list of midseason all-pro defensive players, and Miles Garrett is alongside Nick Bosa as one of the defensive ends. This cannot be disagreed with because Garrett has shifted the tides of several games in the Browns' favor. In the Colts game alone, he forced two fumbles with one resulting in a touchdown and a blocked field goal. 
credit can go to the new scheme he's playing under defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz, and the added talent that allowed Garrett to post 28 tackles, 11 sacks, 4 forced fumbles, and 2 pass deflections so far. The Cleveland Browns and Deshaun Watson have shown up when it mattered and made a statement win against the Baltimore Ravens, a division rival that tied for the best record in the AFC. Despite winning an important game, the Browns remain at the sixth seed um, if the season were to go and end today. It's also possible for a number of teams to make the top seed after knocking the Ravens to second. The Houston Texans knocked the Cincinnati Bengals out of the seventh seed, and the Buffalo Bills managed to lose against the Denver Broncos. If the Browns beat the Schittsburg Steelers on Sunday, they can not only get the division lead, but could also move to either the top seed or at least tie for it. This is also dependent on the results of the Thursday night football game between the Ravens and Bengals and the Monday night football game between the Kansas City Chiefs and Philadelphia Eagles. That is, if the Bengals, Browns, and Eagles win their respective games. Deshaun Watson is dealing with an injury oh, no. yet That's again, this time to his left ankle. He took several hits during the Ravens game, the most notable coming from former Brown Jadavian Clowney in the second quarter. Watson was noticeably limping during the remainder of the game, but kept playing. He left MNT Bank Stadium wearing a walking boot. When asked about his injury, Watson said he wasn't feeling well, but he will be fine and ready to go next week against the Steelers. Eyes are on Deshaun Watson this week, as it can't be guaranteed he'll be ready to go for Sunday. I am probably more optimistic than the average Browns fan, and I sure hope he is able to play against Schittsburg. Please, for all that is good, does he stand by his word? <laughs> MRI results for him and two other players are still pending as of writing this. There's a sign of relief in regards to Denzel Ward. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, Ward reportedly suffered a minor oh, neck no. strain and There's should be down. fine moving forward. Whether or not he will be available for Week 11 against the Steelers is still up in the air, though. Ward cleared concussion protocol after taking a shot to his helmet by Ravens offensive tackle Ronnie Staley. Like Watson, Ward's MRI is still pending. Head coach Kevin Stefanski said the team should know more about these injuries by today, which is the publishing date for this episode. And before we go, we got to talk about Nick Chubb. Yesterday, it's been announced that he underwent and completed his second surgery to repair his ACL. The Browns head physician, James Voos, MD, I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, performed the surgery at University's Hospital's Druzinski. The procedure was successful and that he has progressed very well from his first surgery in late September. The estimated recovery time suggests that Nick Chubb should be able to play again in the 2024 season. Of course, he won't be playing against the Schittsburg Steelers this weekend. The Browns, on the other hand, has the opportunity to knock them on their ass and redeem themselves. And thank you again for watching Brock House Sports. Once again, I'm your host, Emily Cheddardog Dillion. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I'd greatly appreciate it. It's also how you can find more of my videos and help me get through the algorithms as well. Once again, I'm your host, Emily Cheddardog Dillion, and I will see you next time. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. You want to run your mouth? We can be two consenting adults, we can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your solution? Every oh. oh, no, no. Sit down. Oh, Eric, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Act it. Oh, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Jeff? it. Hold it. If we can't. No, I have the money. Said. I'm sorry. This is hold what it. Said. You'll have your time. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. Fatality. This is a hearing.